Art Therapy TV, where we make good medicine. With the crime rate on a steady decline, Canada could be seen as a very safe place. The stories in standard death. Oh good, well I hope to be able to pay you enough money to get your own tanker and uh, have your own spill and then see how that works. This is a song about, I guess, losing your composure while trying to contact someone who you, you can't find. It's kind of passive aggressive, kind of like a love song in, in the order of restraining orders, I guess. You drive little miniature horses on the belts, I think. Oh, okay. So I heard they got a lot of horses in them. Right. Yeah. There was so much salmon going up the riverbeds, like we could pretty much just shoo them onto the, onto the land. A pie is a, a round food. A lot of politicians, people think they're real bottom feeders and bloodsuckers. Are you forgetting who's Einstein around here? Okay. Hi everybody, my name is Eric Wilson. I'm here at the Squamish Nation Basketball Tournament. It really affected me um, where I learned from him that if he has one shred of hope, then he can make it. It's a lot of fun for one thing. Why do you do it? Because um, I, I was forced to do it. What's your favorite part about performing? Um, going home. Thanks for tuning in for this exclusive edition of the Will D. Salmon Run show. Once again. I understand the women lay eggs and, and the men fertilize the eggs in the... Is it in the ocean or do you guys do that in the river? Random authority. Do you have a license? Well, right. Hold on. Hey. Sorry. Hey. You're going to come with us? Call the media. Hey. Call the media. Yeah, call I'm the media. Yeah, this. You have a license. I didn't know you. We must discover the past and how it will affect the future. Hi, my name is Wilde Salmon. I'm a lost fish. As part of my natural journey, I return to my place of birth, 
known as my watershed. In my latest journey back to what I thought was my spawning ground, I come across this big city with tall buildings, roads, and cars populated by creatures that they call humans. It's all kind of foreign to me. On my journey home, I get to know these humans and what they're all about. So perhaps they can even help me find my home watershed. Children's news? Dibs on the cameraman. Okay, I'm in the reporter. Yeah. This is the story of Will D from the Salmon family that left school early to find out what happened to his ancestor's spawning ground. Hey look, it's a rule of waiting first. Let's go see if we can interview him. Find out where the sockeye crews. Wild salmon oh. children's news. Why were you trying to eat a puck? I was watching the birds, how they're trying to get food out of it, so I'm... Uh, it looks really tasty. Not at all, mister. Why not? So that's just rubber and plastic. Oh, is that good? No. Why not? It's just made out of oil. Oh, that's bad? Yes, Why? very. How come? Because the oil isn't good for you if you eat it. Oh, yeah. I saw it came out of that, that ship over there. So Coldwater Road is a is a little area in the interior um, in the Thompson Nicola Valley, just near Merritt, and it's um it's kind of where I grew up. started started writing my first songs and just kind of for campfire purposes. And music just went from there. And I've kind of spent the last 25 years up there, and I reckon that I'm one of the best friends to the fishes because I've been fishing in those lakes up there for. 24, 25 years, and only caught about four or five fish over that time. So I think that's, I'm doing my part. <laughs> but a lot of our songs are about traveling of some sort, some sort of alternate modes of transportation. Because, you know, we got to start looking in that direction. We know that. Um, this next song we're going to play is called Hot Balloon. And it's about thinking of something that you really, really want or really, really miss or really, really love. And every time you think about it, it takes your breath away a little bit, you know, a little bit of gasp. And if you could put all of those together and fill up a balloon, then you wouldn't need to, you know, buy any diesel fuel any longer. Um, but we heard, we heard that Will was looking for um, his, his watershed, and yeah, I know what that's like. I know that it's hard, so I think, I don't know if the band doesn't mind, maybe we could lend him the, wa the hot balloon for a little while, and he could get an aerial perspective. Sometimes you just need a new perspective on things for sure. to find what you need. So, Will, Will, this one's for you. You can try it. Oh, here, he's coming. Are are you okay with heights? I guess so. We could put a bucket up there and we could keep you know, keep you moist. That could work. And we'll put some gravel in the bottom and you'll feel good up there. I, it you won't have to stay up for too long. You'll you won't you, once you get up high enough sometimes you can you can see you'll you'll it won't take you long, I don't think. Towards the moon And I like to think that you might be right now Looking at it too So that I can scream my love above And hope that it reaches you But if I did not time it right There is still something you can do Before you fall asleep tonight In your grandfather's living room You can read the note I wrote Posted for you on the moon It says that every night I miss you And most every afternoon I've marked a wall for every hour Now I'm running out of room And I don't have an airplane So I know what I need to do If I found one I could use Then I could fuel my own balloon By adding all the breath I for every time I think of you For every time I think of you Hot 
juice and a blanket and a pillow and I'll climb in my balloon and I'll be smiling as I cut the line rise above the roof oh I don't know the way to you so flying blind I'll have to do and I could float around for days and never lose a drop of fuel But my wireless connection was corrupted by a goose. And cellular reception does not fly in this balloon. And so, my baby, while you're waiting there, the best that I can do, well, it may be floating slowly, but it's riding in a big balloon. It may be floating slowly, but it's riding in a big balloon. And if you're feeling That was called Hot Balloon. We're Cold Water Road. Thanks a lot for having us here. <laughs> hey, good luck, Will. I hope you find that watershed. So do you have any uh, favorite salmon stories that they're eating or catching? Not like I really <laughs> want to hear them, but I think the listeners and viewers at home. <laughs> well, salmon stories, goodness. I used to actually fish quite often. <laughs> so oh. I don't know if you want to hear about that. but <laughs> well, I don't really, but the director does, so maybe you could share a really short one. So have you ever eaten a salmon before? <laughs> oh, yes. No, no. <laughs> We've got uh, one of our uh, political uh, people here, Stockwell Day. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So uh, imagine if I would run in a political competition. What advice would you give to a fish? Well, first of all, people think most politicians are fishy at the best of times. Yes. You're going to have to stake out your own territory. Uh, a lot of politicians, people think they're real bottom feeders and bloodsuckers. So you're going to have to worry about that image. But I would say, uh, you know, I would say try and keep your head above water, but that could hurt you too. So uh, swim, swim straight and narrow. Uh, keep your fin in the water and uh, try to be scaled back as much as you can. You should be okay. <laughs> Wildy Salmon here with the musicians Holly and Kevin from the Artist Response Team. Of Kevin and Holly. Sorry, I get I do that all the time. Salmon, they just you don't know your genders. <laughs> well, we don't know until we actually spawn, so that's you hopefully understand. That's so, I'm very understood. Yeah. Is that budget cutbacks, no sex education in schools? I'm in school all the time with my other fish friends, so I don't know if there's any cuts or anything like that. That's a whole political discussion we'll save for later. Anyways, there were no budget cuts in school. I just haven't figured that stuff out yet. I see. Holly and Kevin, my bad. You're musicians with the Artist Response Team. Why are you artists? Why do you swim? It's my show. I ask the questions <laughs> to you. Okay, show. Sure. Thanks. What else is there to do in life, Jay, but sing and be an artist? That's that's the only answer I have. Who's Jay? Will D. Will oh, D. Right. Okay, well, you, you misnamed us. I was just returning the favor. Oh, thanks. Really. Thank you. It's a lot of fun, for one thing. Why do you do it? 
Um, because I, I was forced to do it. I, you know, I was yeah. born, and then next thing you know, I was tied up and forced into music slavery. Yeah, that's pretty much how it was for me too. Yeah. Like in our family, the only thing to be was a musician. You know, some families like their kids to become lawyers and doctors, and but in our family, there was just that was all there was. That was it. So I bought in, and I'm, you know, been haplessly addicted all my life. Cool. Yeah. Well, a lot of people like your music, and uh, you sing a lot about nature and fish, which salmon, of course, I like. So why do you sing about that stuff? We're trying to create the new mainstream. <laughs> we, want, we want everybody to listen to music about fish and trees. Bears, and rivers. Bears, rivers. I mean, why, why isn't everybody writing about that? The open ocean, plankton, you know, like the plankton hit parade. Why not? Plankton hit parade. There's yeah, just as much awesome. love and loss going on in the plankton pastures in the open ocean as there is here in the big city of Vancouver. Did you know that, Wildy? I didn't know. More than in New York or San Francisco? Well, I can't really compare that, but I'm just saying you must know from your time in the open ocean, there's a lot of action going on out there. Yeah, no, it's, there's lots going on. And the yeah. thing is, most people here in Vancouver, we don't have a clue because we never go to the open ocean, do we? Will? Yes, Will D. Salmon. I didn't know you played the guitar. <laughs> yeah, well, you gotta do what you gotta do to feed yourself, you know. The people of Fort Chippewyan are getting very sick. Their fish, their moose are toxic, living downstream, they're at risk. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Which side are you on? A bunch of people, like, I was just looking for my watershed and then uh, played a bunch of live music and uh, so I figured what's going on and they gave me time on the mic. So I just said my thing. Something about peeping the pipeline She's pooping in the watershed, so I kind of got a, I did a little, little poem. Pee pee the poem, pipeline poem. Pee pee the pipeline poem. I don't know, I, I just learned English. Uh, I found, I don't know, I, there's a bunch of other fish in there, so I don't think that's mine. They got a different color and they weren't, I think we're in the wrong season for spawning. That's just my hunch. So you're gonna... All right, yeah, I'm gonna go to the ocean. I'm gonna, um, some dude let me, what they call a kayak. So now that I've grown legs, um, there are certain things that I can do that uh, I wouldn't able to do if I didn't have them, so I'm going to try it out, you know, I don't know, it's this, this whole becoming human thing, I just got to make sure that the random authorities don't catch me because I don't think I have a license to kayak, but that's a whole other story. I'm here for the auditions, yeah, um, what, what positions do you still have available? Officer Mumbles I, is free. I can, I can be serious, yeah. I can do that. What do you want me to say? Well, I need your license. Can I see your license, please? Or oh, another one? Okay. Um, can I see your license, please? Stop. Random is already. I need to see your license. Need it. I need it. I need it. Do you have permission to do that? I need, I need it. I gotta have to write you a ticket for your safety. Yeah, I'm just preparing for court. Okay. So I just have to uh, practice my fishy narrative. They might not understand my language, but all I have to do is just spawn my case. Random authority. Do you have a license? What? Swearing in public. I say crap. Wildy Salmon here. Coming not live at our studio here, we have Bill Bliss from Nature's Garden. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you for coming on the program. So uh, you are what you call yourself a food inventor? Food inventor would be right, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm already food, so yes. I, I don't think, you, are you taking credit for 
inventing me? No, no, we're just taking credit for inventing ways to use you. Oh, you want to use yeah, me? We want to use you in a very good way, though. Okay. Yes. So explain to me uh, how you would use me. Well, we might use you because it's well known that uh, fish is a good brain food. So we can use you in the form of a quiche, a bagel, or just wild salmon and eggs. Oh my God, I really, uh, it's kind of really disturbing for me to hear this, but I'll, uh, I'll continue with the, the interview. Uh, so uh, what is a quiche? Is it the a quiche is sort of like a pie, a round pie. What's a pie? A pie is a, a round food in a dish with salmon, eggs, and some ingredients we can't quite, we don't want to reveal our whole secret of making it, but uh, yeah. So why did, you, why did you decide to put those uh, things together? Like uh, it would seem uh, strange. No, they're very good, you see, because we're feeding students, we're feeding people, uh, very intelligent people, people studying, it's a good brain food, fish is uh, giving back to the environment, using the environment working together, man, nature, wild thing. But aren't humans smart already? Why do they need to be smarter? Well, like, uh, they're well, yeah, but salmon are even smarter. Salmon spend their whole life in schools, traveling all the world. So some of that goes over to the us when we eat it, sort of like osmosis, sort of we absorb the salmon. So we're kind of like part of their education. Yeah, part of their education, exactly. Yeah, working together, engaging each other. All right, I can see that. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, the whole thing about salmon, I'm still not quite comfortable about being cut up, cooked, baked, fried. What does it really good for me to do? Can I? Can you eat other things? We could eat other things, but salmon are the best things, and it also goes with giving. You're giving back, you're giving. It's not only about ourselves, right? We have to give to other things, give back to the world, give to people, right? I guess, I, maybe I could give very you... Very nutritious. A, yeah, like me, well, this is true. How about like other fish? Like, can I convince you like maybe, I don't know, they, whatever you guys name them, uh, uh, there's other fish out there. Oh, there are other fish, like herring. Have you cooked them? We have cooked a bit of herring sometime, but it's not as popular as salmon. And of course, we don't want to take away your food source, which is herring, right? Yeah, that's true. Well, and mine's fine. Maybe you can take my cousin's food. Your, your, does your cousin look as good as you? Uh, well, never. No. But so, yeah, that's why you can eat them. That's why we can eat Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look how good I look. Seriously. It, sometimes things are better just left to observe. All right. So, uh... What other kind of fish would you cook? Maybe I convince you to maybe, or other things for these humans to be smarter, because Well, what, what type of salmon are you? Are you a sockeye? Well, are you a chum? Uh, are you a pink? I'm, I, I don't want to say, I, I'd rather just you guys figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know myself, because I actually don't, I don't, I was, I never went to your kind of school, so I actually, I just kind of came into this whole knowledge thing, and it's just really, a lot for me. I'm mm. kind of stressed out about it. You recommend anything? Yes, you can eat maybe some kelp. It's very relaxing. It has very relaxing herbs in it, some salt in it. It may give you yeah, more relaxed. Do I need a prescription? You just over the counter. Say. It just grows everywhere. You can just, no problem. Relax. Kelp relaxes you. It has some, some, some herbs in there that just make you swim nicely, smoothly. You can look at life and just flow with life. Is that kind of like what you guys smoke as weed? Is it same Some thing? people do smoke weed, yes. It gives them a very similar feeling, yeah. So, oh, so kelp yeah. is kind of like... The, the salmon weed. Oh, man. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Do I need to grow that in hydroponics? No, it's already in the water. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. Do, uh, will it's, it increase my hydro bill if I... Can I actually make it myself in small doses and carry it without being arrested? I don't think so. I think you have to go to approved areas where you can get it from. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. you have to have a license. Excuse me. Oh, oh. Random authority. Do you have a license? Why, yes. License. Yes. We have a license? Thank you. Have a nice day. Nature's garden. How can nature's garden not have a license? Nature. Garden. License from above.
And we're back. This is Will DeSalmon here with um, Einstein, the silver fish. There, there's a hatchery that's run up by the watershed. Anyway, yeah, so, oh, I learned today where the word salmon comes from, but I've forgotten now. And then they have a kind of a, you know, one of those, you know, uh, epiphanies where, oh, I thought the universe was a green tub. All of a sudden, whoa, look out, there's a trout. <laughs> about to work out. You want to join me? We better be nice and limber so we don't hurt ourselves. Sounds great. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Uh, Will. Will, pleased to meet you. My name is Eric. I don't know, something's going on here. I think they're gonna protect the water channel. I think they're on my side, but there's a bear over there, so I'm not quite sure. Anyways, I will. I think I'm close to my watershed. So, you know what I learned today? What'd you learn? That I should recycle my pharmaceutical products. That's right, well. I didn't even know I'd take them. Well, like you living in the ocean, you probably suck back I a lot know, of that stuff just like, without even knowing it. It's I like, know, I'm it's on like it. You're, you're swimming along, all of a sudden you're feeling a little yeah, woozy in like, the head. It's like, what's going I know, on, maybe? I salmon don't do drugs, and then I, uh, somehow I got other oh, people's. God. So if you're listening out there and you're a big fan of the fishes, you need to do your part. Just, just, you know, listen to what he's got to say and sometimes he's going to need you to stand up and, and um, talk about some of the things that you think are important too, you know, help him out, support his cause. Just vote for Will. Just vote for Will. Thanks for having us here. Peace. So this is your chance to, to vote for Will Le, on his first ever election. It's called Junk in Your Trunk. If you see a guy and you want to catch his eye, there's a simple recipe that works every time. It ain't no secret how to get a man in your arms. Girl, you just strut your stuff, you'll find it works like a charm. Cause guys like a cutie with a J-Lo booty like Kim Kardashian. Girl, you got it, your mind is swift on it if you're thinking about catching him. Don't worry about the size of your hips or thighs, just shake what your mama gave. Doesn't take much, no, just a little junk in your trunk. Now I see a magazine, girls skinny like string beans. Maybe a woman with some meat on her bones is just what he needs. And in shape or size, it's beauty in a true man's eyes. Girl, you got Everything you need don't change a thing. No, 
no, no, no. Guys like the cutie with the J-Lo booty like Kim Kardashian. Girl, you got it, you might as well flaunt it if you're thinking about catching him. Don't worry about the size of your lips or thighs. Shake what your mama gave ya. It doesn't take much. Just a little junk and a trunk. Hey. How's it going? Sav. Hey. I heard you eat sushi. <laughs> I love fish. Yes. A little fishy. Multiple scales. Oh, yeah? It's good. Uh, do you know when spawning season is? Hopefully soon. Am I too close? No. Right here? Get closer. Stop. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> spawning season is not till September. He's a very busy fish type man, and he's got a lot of good things that he's campaigning for, but he needs the public opinion on his side. So vote for Will. Vote for Will. <laughs> Help him legislate that bill. I gotta find my watershed. That's the story. I'm lost. All right, Will D. Salmon here, coming to you, not so live, but we have Starfire, a horse. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? Great. How are you? Great. So this whole horse thing, I'm kind of confused. Uh, you are a horse that paints? Yes. And I paint fish. So uh, are you a seahorse? No. I'm a land horse. How does that work? Like, how do you not, like, are, how are you not like a seahorse that likes fish? I don't get it. Well, seahorses live at the bottom of the ocean, and if I went down there, I'd die. i got to swim on the top of the ocean. And I can't get very far because I get tired. I breathe air. And I paint. These are my paintings right here, see? All right. So, like, how do you, how do you know about fish? I don't get it. When I go to the stream and take a drink, these little guys swim by my nose. All right, so what do you got and here? And I don't want to drink them. Would you want to drink fish? Well, it depends. Probably. You probably eat them. Yeah. These are probably your lunch. Yep. Well, I don't want to eat them. Why not? They'd be good, aren't they? Not for a horse. Okay, well, what do you eat anyway? I eat grass. Oh, apples. Mm. Oh, hold on, hold on. We'll give it oh. to you later. Just... And carrots and oats. And hey, what... dried out grass is okay too. In the snow, we dig. We dig for the, the grass at the bottom under the snow. Even if it's dead, we still eat it anyways. So, grass. Tree that's... leaves. That's not like weed, that's just regular grass. Yeah, there's some weed sweet too. Can you give us a sample of your joke? If salmon wrote songs, there'd be no hooks. Oh. Whoa, oh. that is so funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> there's no hooks in them. I don't know why. Are these my eggs? Are you ready to spawn now or what?
walking home. I got your number flashing on my phone. Well, tell me I'm not dreaming. Down the block and don't want to talk Not the picture message so I start to walk Why does this happen to me? After all this time to heal, should I believe your love is real? Tell me, I'm not dreaming. Now you say you miss my kiss, my love. I miss it too, knowing you because, well, we know, girl, you're no angel. Come on, girl, baby, tell me what you're thinking. That you like me, that you love me for the weekend. Your love and love has got me sinking. I need a second more, I'm thinking. But you wanna believe? That is not so bad Ooh, every feeling that I thought that you had Ooh, I said I'd never see a girl like you again You spoke your body Yeah, pulling me in again You know I want you so bad Well, you had to come along And I, well, you had to come along Yeah about this girl she's got the eyes that are sparkle just to light up the room but an independent woman likes to sleep in the nude yeah i got it like a story though the feeling is wrong oh you look so good but you feel so bad girl, you had to come along Alright, did they really, really need to know? Uh, no. No. It's not happening then. Hey! It's Will here. We're gonna speak with an artist here, Crystal Edenshaw. Welcome to the program, thank you. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. No problem. So, uh, you're an artist. Yes. <laughs> so, what does that mean for you? It means I get to create beautiful things all day. <laughs> So um, you recently got in reintroduced or um, to your culture up in Haida Gwaii. Can you tell us what that was like? It was quite extensive. Like I didn't know there was so much to my background, but there it was, and it's quite a quite a impressive background, I might say myself. Cool. Yeah. So. Sorry to interrupt. No problem. Um, so uh, my cousins have been known to uh, swim by many cedar trees, and I understand um, you've done some work with these uh, cedar. Can you explain to us, or me, <laughs> and I'll tell my cousins, how important the cedar tree is to you? It's used as like a cradle, or, and you use linens, and it's used as clothes, and you use it to prepare food and store food. Um, you actually could use it to make shelter and um, clothes. It's not as comfortable as cotton, but definitely lasts through the cold winters there. Um, also, it's 
you could use it for different kinds of art, whether it being carving or like what I like to do is to, um, to weave it. You take the inner bark and you strip it down and make baskets and whatnot. So you've done some salmon art before yes. as well? Yes. Yeah. I just recently did a canvas painting and that was actually um, inspired by a copper bookmark that I made of two salmon. So on your next meal, remember this seal. If you're gonna dine, if you're gonna dine, if you're gonna dine out, go wild or go home. Peace, love. Wild salmon forever. Well, we used to go up um, fishing up uh, up at Haida Gwaii, and one time my uncle Guja took me just a little out at the outskirts of Charlotte, and there was so much salmon going up the riverbeds, like we could pretty much just shoo them onto the onto the land and just <laughs> have that. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for sharing your stories, <laughs> Crystal. Fishy handshake. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> This is where it'll be salmon. Watch out for Crystal if you're in the watershed. Thank you. Oh, let's interview some other fish. Here. Hello. 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 How are you, fish? Hi, Simon. May we interview you with my documentary film crew? Oh, we really want to catch up with the parade, though. Okay. Maybe at the next stop. Maybe at the next Maybe. stop. I'm going to go to the ocean, so. Oh, have fun. We'll see you in the watershed. Yeah. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. This goes out to everybody who's been there from the beginning. Oh! oh. I said famous, envision clearly, as far as the eyes can see. Straight vagueness is not what it seems, a chemist full of jealousy. Famous is a temptress, leaves you speechless, even heartless. Famous, pointless, but we all would die for. Once and if an eyes corrupted, all or nothing Valley starts, body marks, scuff scars I promise before the gavel stick snaps Mental strength like throwing anvils I'll be your bodyguard, so holy Quran I stick out eagles and sword Drain battery similar to my anatomy Gossip, don't believe in everything you've seen on TV Overdrive, new initial, meaning heat OD, flatline, pause Famous, vision clearly As far as the eyes can see Straight fakeness is not what it seems Chemists full of jealousy Famous is a temptress Leaves you speechless, even heartless Famous, pointless But we all would die my for friends claim I'm a celebrity Label Robert De Niro, Johnny in debt with my inner self Skeletons grinding the diamonds in my closet I illuminate bright for residents, Johnny, I'm shining Across the atlas, I tie picks You're scorching, I'm a sort of flesh of fake, slow but a copper tone Block numbers, actresses hollering at me like snapshots That is popularity, soulless industry, still wanna be famous <laughs> Famous, envision clearly, as far as the eyes can see Straight famous, it's not what it seems A chemist full of jealousy Famous, is a temptress Leaves you speechless, even heartless Famous, pointless But we all would die for Life's a game of chance, I hope and pray I don't change Let ego take over, sabotage My side, my real aim Seeing yellow seagull enduring the pain Personal question, paparazzi critics want you hot, they want you to fall off to the front page. Acting like they've been in touch weekly, okay. Magazine, double XL, double XL, vibe respects. I'll even buy a couple myself. Fama, gotta remind, we ain't the only ones in the globe to each their own. This is the life I chose. Lost friends and quality time with family folks. If an angel comes down, it takes me away. So if an angel comes down, it takes me away. Memories of me and my song will always stay Backstabbers waiting for your dope Overzealous fakes, it's hard to twist now Magic then, so it's industry So wanna be famous Envision clearly, as far as the eyes can see Straight fakeness, it's not what
but it seems the game is full of jealousy. Famous is a temptress, leaves you speechless, even heartless. Famous, pointless, but we all would die for famous. The vision clearly, as far as the eyes can see. Straight fakeness, it's not what it seems. A game is full of jealousy. Leaves you speechless, even heartless, famous, pointless, but we all would die for it. So imagine some of my chums wanted to like toxify my watershed with their dirty politics. Um, what kind of sewer trout politics would you retort to them that is in the bounds of political, you know how it goes? I would say uh, be on guard all the time. There are some real sharks out there. And uh, there's, some, uh, there's some stingrays that will really try and do you in. So you've got to, you know, stay near the surface. Uh, stay shiny and clean. That's that's uh, that, that's a, a big thing for sure. And uh, you should be okay as long as you. Uh, well, I don't know if I can say this to you. As long as you keep your head above water. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's best for us to stay underwater, uh, but not be cutthroat like some of our political nemesis. So, uh, how can we get a hold of you if I, if I'm a fish to get some more fishy political uh, consultation? Well, um, you know, I'm online, but I can see with you most of our uh, relationships going to be underground. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Good. My name is Will. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Tessa. So, what are you doing? I'm just hanging, singing. <laughs> cool. I think this is my watershed. I'm not quite sure. There's a bunch of fish back there. So, uh, what is this? It's a guitar. What do you do with it? I sing songs with it. It helps me write. Oh. How yeah. long have you been writing for? Um, I've been writing since I was eight. Wow. I only wrote a four, so I wouldn't know what to do. What do you write about? All my songs are pretty much, they stem from the truth. They're true stories. And if I don't write about me, they're about people that I know or a book that I read. Yeah. Do you write any fish songs? No, I, I can't say I have. Cool, well, I'm just going to hang out and listen. Is that, is that cool? Yeah, sure. All right. See you later. Okay, bye. The moon says good night. The stars are shining bright but I can't sleep tonight at all I've got crazy knocking at my door I've got people wanting more but I can't sleep tonight at all and the staring at the stars everything's so pretty outside but i'm scared here in the dark so sing me a lullaby sing to me Got no coffee in my veins 
just worries twirling in my brain a collection of things i knew i should have done and there are things that i can't change there are past mistakes i can't erase and trust me when i say i wish i could staring at the clock it's almost time for morning light and my mind just won't shut off so write me a melody and play it for me every night i need something sweet to fall asleep and i'm tired Sing me a lullaby, sing to me every night. I need something sweet to fall asleep in. I'm tired. Oh, I've got monsters under my bed. I've got scary things in my head. Hey, that was awesome. Thank You're you. You're really talented. Thank you. Hey, uh, I need your help. I need uh, I need humans to vote for me. You're a human, right? Yeah. Um, what for? Um, I need help looking for my watershed, so I need humans to help me find it. So. Sure, I'll help you. Cool. I don't know what voting means, but thanks. <laughs> All right. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you, too. Take care. Yeah. Hi, Tansy, and welcome to I'm Gookum, and this is Gookum's Kitchen, where I have my world-famous recipes. Oh, boy. Kids, you're going to love to learn to cook when you uh, get through watching this. I have my world-famous bitumen cookies with me. They are the best tasting in the world, and I'm not going to tell you how to cook them all, because this is a top secret thing but I will tell you that it comes from the dirty Alberta tar sands. We're not supposed to say that. They do want us to say bitumen, but we can say tar sands. But anyways, you start out with black, thick, ooey, gooey stuff, and you form it into the shape of the cookies. And if you want, well, you can add some chocolate chips or sprinkles on top, and then you put them in the sun to dry, but you got to pay for that because now the sun is a corporation. It's called Suncor. Someone bought the sun. So you leave it out in the Suncor and you plug your loonies into a meter. 
and then that'll give you enough and pretty soon you've got these delicious, nutritious, they're kind of hard, you know, but they're better than Mary One Spot's bitumen cookies, but don't tell her I said that, okay? Yeah. So I've got some of my world, some of my world famous recipes in here, and uh, we're going to take you through some of them because you want to know how to do that and please your mom and dad. It's Kukum's Kitchen. Hi, Kukum. Hey, it's Wadi Salmon. How are you, buddy? Just uh, put it there. Salmon arm. Oh, I love salmon arm. <laughs> so, uh, you have a cookbook? It's world famous. Who's world? Oh, the big one out there that uh, everyone talks about. Yeah, that one. So, uh, what do you got for recipes? Oh, I got some great stuff. I got clam up chowder. I got uh, plank salmon uh, sushi. And uh, I know, don't get too worried about that one. I got slippery eel casserole. But I'm not going to give my secret away for bitumen cookies. Oh, come on. They taste so good. Uh, I can only give you clues, eh? OK. That's my real money maker. So, uh, what's in the bitumen cookies? Oh, well, you've got dirty tar sand oil. Nice. Some of them have chocolate chips, too. Uh. And some of them have those sprinkle thingies, colorful things. Yeah, I don't want to put any nuts in. Major trouble. I'm with the random authority. This event is over. Here's a real slick one. Mm. There you go. I haven't had these since I don't remember when, but oh my god. They're still kind of hot from the sun core. Yeah. Yeah, they'll stay hot for a bit, you know. But yeah. And you might have to kind of watch your stomach after a little bit. Okay. So be prepared for, you know, yeah. Just go down to where the bottom feeders are. Gotcha. Yeah. There's a lot more of these around because um, those frozen orcas aren't skating around on the ponds anymore. No. I don't know why I said that. Anyways. Um. As I said, major trouble here. Run a and why are there still people here? The show is officially over. Good night. <laughs>